G'day guys, Ange here. Hope you're all doing well. It's a beautiful day outside. So today we're going to uh, test drive the Traxxas Slash. Uh, this is my uh, work colleagues. So I've just done some uh, fixing up for him. Uh, just to re-grease the diffs and redone the shockers and giving it a bit of a tune up and stuff like that. Painted the body underneath. So we're just going to give this a uh, bit of a bash today. There is not much around here. It's pretty much flat ground but we're also going to do some speed runs but uh, we'll get this uh, up and running and then uh, we'll see how we go so this Traxxas Slash does have a 4000 uh, 3660 motor in it and I think it's just a 60 amp ESC just the original uh, Traxxas ESC that's in there alright guys, it's going to give this a run now got the GPS uh, all on steering, bit of throttle give this a couple of runs first and then uh, We'll try and find something to uh, to bash on. All right, let's see here we go. Let's see how we go on grass. It's not too bad. I have done a speed run before on grass, but uh, it's not ideal. And this is just running on 3S. So there's no point doing a 2S run and the ESC is only capable of 3S anyway. It's not too bad. It's a bit unstable with the steering, but I can just uh, readjust that on the trims. But the ground is pretty well flat. It's going really well. All right, I'll give it another one pass. All right, we'll bring this back and we'll see what we've got. All right, and we do have a top speed of 66 kilometers an hour. So that is not too bad. I think with a 4S upgrade uh, ESC, uh, with a, I think with a 4S ESC, uh, we can get this over 80 kilometers uh, easily. So just to recap, I am running just a 3S 4500 milliamp um, battery in there. And uh, yeah, so pretty happy with that. 66 kilometers for a car like this is uh, more than enough speed. A little bit of gravel here. Give it a, see what the handling is like. Cop that one. Suspension seems really good. Was I am running the 60 weight in the front and 30 weight in the back. Oh, sorry, my apologies. 60 weight all round for the uh, for the shocker oil. Sorry, I meant to say the differentials. I'm running 60 weight in the front and 30 in the rear. Oh, first tumble. Quite. Doesn't sound good in there. Oh, well, give that a bit of a shake. Lucky the, lucky the pinion is covered, which is a good thing. There's a couple of little mounds here. They're not the best, but uh, see how we go. stick stuck in there oh yeah there's another thing I did change as well was I fixed up the body posts so they are nice and strong now I'll put on some aluminium body posts there just fix up that body ah there we go this is gonna have definitely gonna have to get a clean up later Nice. 
Nice and stable. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna leave it there. So I'm happy with the results. Everything seems to be running really nice. So I'm not gonna bash it too much, because uh, it isn't mine. I did fix it up for a friend. So uh, we're gonna leave it right there. So uh, guys, as you can see, we've got uh, 66 kilometers on the speed run, and it handles really well with all the jumps and, and uh, stuff like that. So guys, just leave a like and a comment, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, so as you just saw, I said to myself, yeah, why not? Let's take it for one last run. And there you go. There's the result. Crashed it. So there you go, Steve. I've uh, put a new swing arm on there for you. And I'm not going to put the other one on. There's going to be a spare. But if you do need the number, that's the number there for the front swing arms. And I'm pretty sure the rear are the same as well. So... You know, it's always like, yeah, just one more, just one more, but uh, there you go. So that's on me, mate. You get some new swing arms.